I'm Marna, and I have another unboxing. In fact, you can guess from the size what it is, since you've seen me opening so many, if you have. If you haven't, please watch. She is loose, but not awful. Well, that one, the legs are. Yeah, they're going to need tightening, and I can do that. We are going to clean her up. This is my <clears throat> Sly Fox. We just opened the box. I found her a horse. I also bought her a pair of earrings. One has become her bracelet. Another is going to become her ankle bracelet on the other side. And we are going to clean her and the horse and perhaps her dress up. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to brush out her hair, the horse's mane, see if I can get this forelock coming forward or what we've got going on here. I have the girls lined up for their spa day. I love this uh, cream rinse. It comes in a jar. It is soft. I don't work for them. I don't get a nickel for this, but I'm giving you a hack. I use a spoon each time I dip into the uh, cream rinse. I get a clean spoon so that I don't uh, contaminate my um, cream rinse with the dirt from the doll's hair. And I work this in. Their hair, are, none of these girls' hair is tangled. It's not a problem. But it is old. These two are pleasant. And I believe that's American Girl. Come to think of it, I ought to look and see. It's been so long, I can't remember. Anyway, I just wanted them to have an extra, uh, this stuff is just so good. It softens the hair, it makes it smell good, and I just thought it was a good idea. When I wash dolls at the sink, I get an older wash rag, uh, a toothbrush. This is uh, one I bought just for dolls. It is soft bristle for their face, their lips, their nose, their ears, their toes, their fingers, and that kind of stuff. And I use a good shampoo. Um, and sometimes I even need degreaser, and that's my um, degreaser. In the sink, I have the saddle, the carrots, the brushes that I used on their dirty hair so that those get clean too, and then the spoons that um, I dish the cream rinse out. And I start with warm water. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's not anything. It's just, just past lukewarm. I use a wash rag. I let that water hit all this other stuff. Um, use a little shampoo. Should have done the hair first, but since I started, I'm going to go ahead. Okay, I am going to take her this is Sly Fox. I am going to wash her face a little bit. Careful. I don't mind getting this wet because this doll is going to stand. And then I'm going to take her apart and tighten her arms. I am not tightening her legs at this time. Why? Because she's going to be riding a horse. And there is no sense in tightening her limbs only to stress them as she uh, mounts a horse. Then I get the toothbrush, and usually, ah, I don't want you to slide down in the sink. I'll use this, because it's easier right now, just to show. And I get the hand on both sides, the fingernails, I get those nostrils uh, up around here, the ears, Anywhere that it has a deep surface that a wash rag can't just glean over. It's perfectly fine that she's getting wet. Like I said, I'm cleaning the stall. And to do that, she needs to get wet. I'm going to take the wash rag and I am actually going to soak her um, fabric body and then I will rinse it the same way. Mattel has placed the eyes of these dolls in the same way the Chatty Cathy's are. 
there is actually a rubber pouch inside that the eye sits in. And because of that, there is metal within these eyes. I try not to get water in there. I do want to clean them, but I didn't get water in there. So when I rinse her face, I lean her forward and use the wash rag. When I lay her out on the towel, I will lay her face down in an awkward position so that uh, that water comes back out. All right, let's wash her hair. I'm not really done uh, washing her body, but I can finish that up. I'm rinsing out the cream rinse. Usually I tuck them up under my arm, but now she's wet, so. And this, again, this is not hot water. It is warm water. I'm using Pantene. I got quite a, quite a little bit, but this is an old doll. I want to make sure she's clean. And I'm going to do it the same way I do mine. You just kind of work that shampoo from top to bottom. I am not scrubbing this, the uh, wig cap, but I am getting it clean. Um, I'm going to work that all the way down, and then I'm going to rinse. I have a laid out on a towel, a clean towel on my countertop, and I started at the bottom. I'm just combing her hair out, and um, you'll notice she is face down. That's because of her eyes. In just a minute, I'm going to show you how I'm going to place this towel on the towel. I'm going to leave her hair like this. I am going to put her head down and her legs up underneath her. Why am I doing that? The eye socket is rounded that the eyeball sits in. What I'm doing is I'm putting it like that so that the water comes down and drains out. I will leave her like this for probably four to six hours and then I will stand her in a stand, re-comb uh, her hair, and then um, the eyes will drain back the other direction. I've done this for Chatty Cathy's. I've never had a problem. I've done this with American Girls. Never had a problem. Again, I am an adult collector and I may not do things just like other people do. But as an adult, I can make those decisions. If you are a child and you're watching this, these are very expensive toys. Your mother and dad paid a lot of money for this, and this is not the video for you. I have a doll here soaking a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this saddle. Again, warm water. And I'm going to use my toothbrush because there's a lot of little crevices and, and I'm just going to clean this up. If you have ever cleaned a real saddle, that is a big job. And you take it apart and you use a toothbrush and you get up into everything. This is plastic. It's going to take about three minutes to get everything, but you don't know who had this or who had it where. So I like to get up into all the little crevices. These are actually really cute from the saddles. Um, and then I rinse it and I will lay this flat on a towel to dry this side down first and then I'll roll it over and, and let it dry on that side. I air dry things several hours, probably longer than they need to be. I want to wash down this horse. I'm going to use warm water, not hot, not cold, just warm. He's pretty, pretty big for my sink. So I kind of have him draped over. I'm using a uh, dish soap degreaser. Um, he has some dirt on him I would like to get off. I may be using the magic eraser. Oh my goodness, those things really are magic. But the first thing I'm going to do is just go over him with soap and water, see what we have, and then I will wash his hair. This horse is dirty. We're going to go over it with magic, oh yeah, look at that come off, with the magic eraser, 
probably limb to limb. And then I'll wash the tail and the mane and the forelock with shampoo. Yeah, he's, he's been dirty. After using the magic eraser, I am rinsing him. I say him, it could be a mirror. Uh, with wash rag. And I'm about ready to add the shampoo. And then I will stand this horse to dry. So I combed out the mane and the forelock and the tail. And I will let that dry for at least 24 hours. It's been several hours since I um, washed these girls and put them down. So I am, I have them up. This is a slide box. And I stood them on the stand. If you'll notice, I stood them backwards so that their hair is not hitting the wood. So this is what she looks like with her hair hanging down. I'm gonna do that to the other two dolls. And I really like these stands. These are 3D printed. And I think you might like one too. Darren 3D prints these. They are not uh, adjustable. They, you, I'm going to send out this part. You will need a 5 8 dowel. You will have to cut the doll, well, to the size you like. I think we do 11 and a half. And then this fits together and that makes your um, 18 inch doll stand. And I really like those. So there you go, hidden giveaway in this video. As I work with her hair, I'm going to also work on the horse and this other doll. Let me stand her up first and then I'm gonna show you the horse. So the horse turned out really, really well. It's gonna take a while to um, dry. And we were talking about flipping after the mane and everything dries. I might flip this up in case any water got in it. There's a, there's a split here where the mane and the forelock goes in. So I don't know, but that's how her horse looks. We will have to make it a bridle. She has a saddle, but she's also Indian. Does she need one? Hmm. My dad bought me a pony when I was for my eighth birthday, or my parents did. And for Father's Day, that my birthday's in March, and uh, I said, well, but I don't have a saddle. And my dad said, if you need a saddle, then you don't need a horse because you should ride, learn to ride bareback first. So that's what I did. And then on Father's Day that year, my birthday's in March, he um, bought me a little pony saddle and bridle. Anyway, the little uh, saddle is drying. It's not completely dry. I'm going to leave part of the towel out and flip it over. The brush is not quite dry, everything else is, and this will stand on the table for at least overnight. I'm very pleased how clean and nice not only the doll came, but also the Batat horse. She's really gonna be cute sitting on there. In a little bit, we're gonna make him a half more, we'll call it a bridle so everybody knows what I'm talking about, but it won't have a bit. Um, it'll be more of an Indian pony. And there are several ways I could do that, haven't decided which. But let me show you where we are. I have decided not to tighten this doll's limbs because she's gonna be mounted on a horse and I'm not gonna tighten them just to stress them. That would be stupid. This doll came with this dress, period, the end. No shoes, she did not have her hair braided. I've washed her hair. Can you see that shine in this doll's hair? I love that cream rinse. And this hair smells good, it's very soft, it's very nice, but it's also made very American Indian. I mean, that is just really nice. So what I did, I did not have the abalone, um, hair ties. So what I did, I got on eBay and I bought these buttons. 
and I paid, oh gosh, I think it was less than $5. I know it was less than $6. And then I put cord through there. What kind of cord? I used the cord that came off a pair of flip-flops that I bought. This is the cord off of those shoes, and that's what I'm going to use on here. But let me show you something else. If you have any type of cord, you can buy this from Walmart or anywhere. I've got one of her hair on there. I was brushing and fixing her hair. Take a permanent marker, something to work on that you don't care about, stretch it all the way out, and take your marker and saturate that. And cut a longer piece than you need so that your fingers can hang on to it. Let that side dry, roll it over, and make sure the whole thing gets dyed. And then you too will have a black piece of um, elastic to go in her hair so that the white doesn't stick out and take away from the look. But what I did, I left one side down. When you put a braid in your hair or your doll's hair, I know. I used to wear my hair in braids all the time. I, I seldom do anymore. My hair is old. But um, when you put a braid in your hair, you make the braid exactly where you want it. Um, you, can't, you can't braid it back here straight out and then expect it to lay flat. You have to line that up with the other braid and braid where you want it. So if you don't know how to braid here, it's very, very simple. You divide the hair in three equal pieces. Uh-oh, I get a little bit, little knot left there. Let me, let me comb that out real quick. When you start your braid, you want it flat in the back or it will stick out the whole time. You want your braid right where you want it to be. Your middle, your middle part of the braid needs to be where you want that braid. And you want to line it up with the other braid. Make sure your front, this piece, and your back, this piece, are flat. So that that lays flat. And it's uh, three pieces. Keep putting the left side and then the right side in the middle. And you do that all the way down. Okay, you take this down till it's equal with this side. I think we're a little bit longer. And then take your rubber band, of course, and tie it off. Couple things I wanted to say. After you wash your doll's hair, any doll, if you're going to be braiding it or styling it, do not cut it blunt. If you cut it blunt, it won't come out right. If I had cut Kaya's hair straight across, when I washed it, then I would have had chunks here and chunks there. But now all I'm gonna do is gently and on an angle, take off just the extra pieces, not the blunt. Take your button and choose your side. The two sides will not look alike, which is really cool. And I'm going to kind of match that this way. They're all pretty. They're all different. Cut your elastic to a point. On the side you want up or out of the hair, come up under. And put that through your buttonhole. Go back the other side. And sometimes it takes a second. Pull that even. Now, here's what a lot of people don't know. When you put something in your hair like this and you wear braids, it may or it may not stay up. So what you want to do is divide your hair, push the elastic through, hang on to both ends, bring the cord from the other side all the way around the hair. I cut this a little short. I had a shorter piece, so... I'm having trouble hanging on to it. Come all the way around and go to the back and tie that off. Okay. I'm tying a knot. 
uh, a square knot and then I'm going around one more time if my bear paw hands will allow it. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm not cutting that very short. It's black, it won't be seen, and if you need to retie it or if it comes loose, then you'll need to grab hold of that and tie it. Then I'm gonna stand her back up and you kind of work the hair around, get your, and it may not be original, but at least it is a nod to the original. Um, and I'm pleased with it, I'm very pleased. I had seen the original on eBay, the original uh, abalone hair ties, and they were like $14.99. I got, I, I don't know, I got several sets, I think six sets, and I got them for six something. If you need a set, contact me. We can work something out. Okay, on her dress, I am really going round and round. I've been thinking about this a lot. I like for these dolls to look as original as I can make them look, to leave the original items alone. Even, even if they're stretched or even, you know, like this is missing. Now, what I could do, or you could do, is replace all of these little ties. It wouldn't be that hard. Uh, some of these just slide up. Can you see that? They're just sliding up. You could pull one side out, add a bead, and uh, replace them all. I want the, this is a pleasant company doll. This, this doll is older than my youngest son and he's 35. Um, they're at least 32 years old and I just wanna leave this alone. But everyone I see has this black smudge and I cannot find out why do they have that black smudge. But what I'm gonna do to pull eyes away from the lost pieces is I'm going to sew, I'm going to put this one here over that black smudge, and then I'm going to add two more pieces of turquoise here. And I'm going to sew those on, hand sew, with the thread that I got as close to I could. I'm pleased with how uh, I'm going to call her Sly Fox. Let me get this shadow off of her. Came out. I, I like the turquoise because it does pull your eyes away from um, the, the missing pieces. Um, I really like the abalone in her hair. I bought these earrings. They're um, just hoop earrings with seed beads on it. I always wore those as a teenager. I was always barefoot. I think from the time I was born, I hated shoes. I got married the first time barefoot. So I gave her an American Indian ankle bracelet and bracelet using the earrings that I found, just a little pop of color. Getting ready to make the bridle for the Bataf horse. I am gonna trim this just a little. I, I am a trail rider. I have competed on horses in many different areas. But I am not a fan of the straight block cut mane and tail and, and forelock. I like it to grow more naturally, just like hair on humans. I like it more natural rather than all cut. And so I'm kind of just trimming a little bit. I am not going to cut all of those stray hairs away. And then we're going to look at... Uh, I, I bought 10 cents. On clearance I got this uh, ribbon and we're gonna see if we can make a little bridle actually a hackmore but halter type thing I was gonna get rings and I thought you know I'm not gonna use rings I'm just gonna see what we can do here um, having trouble getting the ribbon open all right here we go I'm gonna cut that on slant and look at it. Let's see what we got, if we got the right size. Yeah, I think we can do something with that. Okay, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, I made my horse, 
I get a horse for my 13th birthday. I get a pony for my eighth. Um, I made my horse a bridle with a bit made out of rope. I thought I was really cool, Indian style. That is a little thicker than I like, but I think we're gonna go ahead with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue it. I'm not going to, I might end up sewing it, we'll see. But for right now, I'm going to cut this piece. And I better put my glasses on. And what I'm going to do, I like these patat horses. Their ears are small, but ears on horses, I have, I collect Briar's horses, and I've had ceramic horses and other horses and, and um, horse models, that is. And they tend to break, and so these are not only small, which I don't like, but what I do like is they're very thick. So this horse is not going to lose its ears if it tips over. I'm betting this one has. What I'm going to do is I'm leaving a loop in this uh, ribbon so that I can put the nose piece through it and the reins. So let's see what happens. You know, I, I don't do anything nice and easy. Never have, probably never will. I use a big glop uh, quite often. Let's cut that a little bit. And I wing about everything. That is, I make it up as I go along. Like I said, I have an idea of what I want here. Let's put a loop in here to match the other. About the same size. The same if I can do it. I'm just using a very small, even for me, little bit of hot glue. I'm letting that dry, or harden, as Darren calls it. Putting that back on the horse. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a round piece to fit through there, out here, for your nose band. And I rode my pony and my horse, and my horse, we've had, Darren and I have had a lot of horses and we've had many that we could just ride with a halter um, and a lead rope, actually. We, uh, we've trained many horses, not only to ride, but my arrow, my paint horse, that is an old man now, we um, trained to do tricks. Actually, I had a couple, well, look at that, I can't grab hold of it. I've had a couple horses I've trained to do tricks, and you'd be surprised but it's not that hard to teach them. Okay, so how much? Okay, just a little. I'm gonna put that back. Let me do this on the horse, because that piece is getting away from me again. Now, I'm kind of leaving it loose. Oh, oh, it got away. Kind of leaving it loose so that perhaps I could take it off and on, but in reality, I won't. I'm going to leave this on the horse. Now, oh, I didn't wait long enough, and I probably didn't leave enough glue. I'm trying not to saturate it so that it goes through to the plastic and sticks to the horse. And we're going to call that good. And now we need reins. So we're going to grab Sly Fox and mount her. Pull her dress up. I don't want to stretch that out for future use. Um, and let's see what kind of reins we need. And we're going to glue that here. I better use a little more. That other came undone. And I don't know. Uh oh, I think. Ah, that came undone. Just a minute. Okay, so I have her. I have this glued down and I'm going to measure it, keeping the ribbon turned so that I don't have kinks in my reins, or trying to. And making this long enough to fit into her hands, which is a trick, without it being too long. And I'm going to cut it there. And then I'm going to put this back into the bridle, back more, 
halter, whatever you want to call it, and glue that down. I found out I needed a little bit more glue than I was using. Try to get it straight. Yeah, that's something else I'm not great at. And then I'm going to place this in her hands. There she is. If I can get that in her hand. Oh, one more thing I was going to do is I was going to show you. I did not put a brow band on, but let's pull that forelock forward in a pretty manner and over the bridle. And there it is. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below what you think about, don't be too mean, what you think about our um, restoration of Kayla, the Pleasant Company doll, to Sly Fox, the Mounted American Indian uh, American Girl doll.